some tense moments at an Austin, Texas courtroom uh, earlier today. The, the former lover of the accused killer in that love triangle murder trial that we've been following, lashing out in frustration. This comes after Colin Strickland testified for a second day. Today, being grilled by the defense, Strickland was asked about his relationship with Caitlin Armstrong, who's accused of gunning down the professional cyclist Mariah Wilson, who Armstrong allegedly viewed as a rival for Strickland's affection. So, there's a lot to this case, and joining us uh, with more on it now is News Nation correspondent Alex Capriello, who's been covering the whole thing and following the trial in the courtroom once again today. Uh, Strickland had an explosive moment, though, outside the courtroom, right, Alex? What happened? Yeah, in fact, I would say there were two explosive moments that happened. The first one we weren't able to capture on the video. The second one we did. But with the first one, we saw Colin Strickland during the lunch recess actually take his arm and pull a camera uh, down from a photographer's hands. The photographer able to hold on to the camera, not let it drop to the ground. But then it was after his testimony, which is the video that we got right now, showing uh, Colin Strickland exiting the courthouse. Uh, typically, when this happens, the photographers surround trying to get video of the key witness. In this case, it's Colin Strickland. They were following him outside of the courtroom. When you see Colin Strickland actually change his path and stomp on one of the photographer's feet, you can hear that photographer actually wail in pain. He said that uh, it was rather painful for him. But really, this is just showing the type of state of mind, I suppose, Colin Strickland was in today, uh, lashing out at the people that were surrounding him, and in this case, uh, professional photographers. Oh, yeah, it was obvious. You see him step to his left right there. Um, so he's on the stand for several hours, right, uh, today. That was the second day of testimony. So that part, I've been forgetting about outside the courthouse for a second, but how did he seem in that part? Yeah, I think it was more of what we saw on Friday. He was, was a witness who seemed really perturbed, uh, really distraught as he was kind of recollecting his memories from that night. On Friday, he really barely spoke above a whisper. Today, it was more of the same. He maybe had a little bit more emphasis in his voice, but really he just was not very happy to be there and answering those questions. He kept his eyes closed most of the time. And I wouldn't say, Connell, that he was uncooperative, but he just wasn't really making it easy, particularly on the defense who was trying to ask questions and poke holes and in his timeline and his story. And in many questions, he just basically uh, stated that he couldn't recall. And it was a back and forth with the prosecution and the defense having to bring him uh, evidence and paperwork to recollect for his recollection so that way he could remember more clearly. Uh, but it just was more of the same where uh, Colin Strickland just really was not happy to be there up there on that witness stand. No, oh, clearly. And just ask the photographers outside, I guess. Alex Capriello, live at Austin, Texas. Thank you for that. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.